Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Bella Hadid admits to plastic surgery and expose's biggest regret after years of denial. American model Bella Hadid has finally admitted to having work done on her face. The 25-year-old said she regrets the nose job done at 14, wishing she had kept the nose of her ancestors. Watch in the video above. Bella Hadid's 2016 Global Lime Alliance New York Gala speech Bella shared this, along with her mental health struggles, admitting she felt ugly in comparison to older sister and model G. Hadid, 26. For years, there has been speculation Bella had filler injections, a blepharoplasty, lifting eyelids, jaw surgery and a nose job. Bella has now cleared the air, sharing she's only had a nose job and everything else is fake news. People think I fully f with my face because of one picture of me as a teenager looking puffy, she told Vogue. I'm pretty sure you don't look the same now as you did at 13, right? I have never used filler. Let's just put an end to that. Bella said she had no issues with plastic surgery, but explained that what some thought was an eye lift was in fact face tape. The oldest trick in the book, Bella said of using the tape. She said she wishes she had kept the nose of her ancestors, believing she would have grown into it. Fans have had mixed reactions to Bella's admission. Bella Hadid finally admitting she got a nose job is great because of the fans who truly believe they weren't lucky enough to have the same miraculous transformation as a teen, one tweet read. What's really sad is the fact she was allowed to get a nose job at 14. Bella's admission comes after years of denial, most notably her in style interview in 2018. People think I got all this surgery or did this or that. And you know what? We can do a scan of my face, darling. She added that she wouldn't want to mess up her face. Bella talks mental health in the Vogue interview. Bella opened up about her mental health battle, attributing it to a lifetime of comparison to her model sister. I was the uglier sister. I was the brunette. I wasn't as cool as she, not as outgoing, Bella said. That's really what people said about me. And unfortunately, when you get told things so many times, you do just believe it. This is not the first time Bella has spoken publicly about mental health. In November 2021, the model shared a series of makeup-free crying selfies along with a message to her Instagram followers. People forget that everyone is basically feeling the same way, lost, confused, not really sure why they're here. That anxiety, like, everyone is feeling that, and trying to cover it up in some way. We're gonna come together in our flaws, in our insecurities, in our joy, in our happiness, and accept it all as beautiful and natural. Self-help and mental illness chemical imbalance is not linear and it is almost like a flowing roller coaster of obstacles, it has its ups and downs, and side to sides. But I want you to know, there is always light at the end of the tunnel. And the roller coaster always comes to a complete stop at some point. There is always room for it to start up again, but for me, it's always been nice to know that even if it's a few days, weeks, or months, it does get better to some extent, even for a moment.